Compositing is the act of combining two or more visual elements to create the illusion of a single cohesive image, and is easily one of the most important aspects of any visual effects shot. This technique has existed nearly as long as film itself, with techniques like multiple exposure and traveling mats being used very early on. Thankfully, with digital compositing and software like After Effects, achieving great visual effects is more accessible than ever. So today we're going to be looking at five compositing tips to help you create a more convincing final image. We have an After Effects project here with a few elements to composite, and our first step is going to be to make sure our assets are properly color matched to their environment. To help this process, click this red, green, blue icon underneath your preview image. Now you can view your footage in separate red, green, and blue color channels. Now drop on a curves effect and change the curves channel to match the color channel set on your composition window. Then tweak the respective channels to match the background as closely as possible. Once you set your channel back to RGB mode, you're gonna notice how much better your assets are matched matching the environment. However, this only works if the lighting of your background matches the foreground element, which leads to our next tip. Matching the angle of light is crucial for any compositing shot. For example, if your background has overhead lights, but your subject is lit from underneath, you're gonna end up with something that feels disconnected no matter what you do. And that's why planning out your VFX shots in advance is so important. Of course, if you are building your background in 3D, that helps a ton, but either way, thinking about what you want your end result to be before you touch a camera is a must. So if you do know what your background's gonna be before you shoot, you can have that on hand and light your subject to match. Another thing that will break your composite and sometimes can leave your composite feeling off without you fully being able to put a finger on why is your black levels. Like the angle of light, this will be a dead giveaway that your assets live in different worlds. And like I said, it can be hard to diagnose sometimes if the issue is subtle enough. So to correct this, we'll go to Window, Lumetri Scopes, and now you'll have a better view of your black levels. So now using this as our guide, we'll use our curves to adjust and get one step closer to that convincing shot. This next one doesn't apply to all projects, but if you are masking an element with hard and soft edges, using the regular pen tool can lead to inconsistent feathering. To fix this, once you have your asset masked out, you can hold down the pen tool and select the mask feather tool. Now you can add feather gradients to different areas of the mask to help match the varied edges, leading to a more natural effect. Our last tip is using a spill suppressor to remove any of your original background color that leaked into the foreground. You can add this by going up to Effects, keying, and clicking Advanced Spill Suppressor. You can keep your method at Standard if that works for you, or you can change it to Ultra. Then select your key color. To finish it all off, you can add some grain to glue everything together and you will have your composited shot. But there you have it, a few tips to sell your compositing effects, and if you have something you'd like to see us cover in the future, feel free to drop a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because honey never spoils, even after thousands of years. And you're my honey.